to 16 kilograms of resources extracted from Earth every day. This number goes up to 57 kilograms if you live in the Western world. The Earth's natural resources are under heavy pressure because most of our stuff require natural resources to produce. In 2017, humans used up their allowance of natural resources for the whole year before August 2nd, 2017. That's more natural resources than the planet can renew. The same rate of depleting resources was also reported in 2015 and 2016. Uncontrollable population growth is exhausting natural resources at a faster rate. Every year we extract 55 billion tons of natural resources from the earth. From biomass and fossil energy to metal and in minerals. This is almost 10 tons for every person in the world. For example, telephones require 42 different minerals to make including aluminium, beryllium, coal, copper, gold, and iron. A television requires 35 minerals, and a computer more than 30. A newborn infant will need a lifetime supply of 360 kilograms of lead, 340 kilograms of zinc, 680 kilograms of copper, 1,630 kilograms of aluminium, 14,800 kilograms of iron, and the list goes on. Production of mined minerals is expected to increase by 250% by 2030 and by 2020 our extraction of biomass will increase by 50%, reaching over 80 billion tonnes. Most of this will originate from small and medium sized mining operators, particularly in developing countries. These mining operators often lack the know-how and resources to apply sufficient health and environmental safeguards. The environmental impacts of mining are therefore likely to increase. As a result, natural ecosystems are losing their ability to adjust. They are reaching a critical point where they will no longer be able to recover. For instance, even though our planet is 71% water, only 2.5% of that 71% is fresh water. The United Nations predict that 1.8 billion people won't have access to clean drinking water by 2025. Due to increasing droughts and wasteful production practices, Oil, natural gas, fish, phosphorus and coal, among others, are declining too. Countries need to develop sources of renewable and sustainable energy, such as solar, wind and hydropower. Rich nations may need to decrease extractions by as much as 90% to ensure environmental and social sustainability. At the moment, the world is moving in the opposite direction.